Hi Felters, in this video today I'm going to show you how to attach fur in a couple of different ways. So I've done a sort of oblongy shape that could represent an animal's body in the grey there and I've just taken some carded wool, I'm just aligning it a bit more by stretching it out um, and then I'm going to needle felt through the middle. So this is just to show you, you can do this with any wool that you have. So you needle felt a line all the way through the middle to make sure it's all secure. As you felt it towards the end, the edge bits the side bits start to come up so let that happen and once you feel it's secure you can give it a little tug and check it's all in there you could leave it long so that could be a long fluffy coat for a sheep or you could trim it you might be making a polar bear so it would depend on what you're doing as to what you're going to do with it and then you would just build up several more layers alongside it so the next one I'm just going to show you is how you would create a stripe when you see all these lions and tigers um, this is how they create some of the stripes. So you take the wool in um, a lighter colour and then you take a dark colour and do a band, a flat band across it and then needle throughout the felt through the middle, just exactly like I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's the neighbour's cat that's just jumped through the window. <laughs> um, so you needle felt through the middle exactly the same as we did with the first one and then it, um, as you felt it, it starts to rise up a little bit make sure it's secure and then when you trim it that is when you will see the stripe so that's quite a good little little effect you can do just when you're creating the lions tigers and things like that it it takes a long time and a lot of patience and it takes ages to go through strip by strip to do it so this is show, showing you how they create a spot so you take um, a dark bit and then put a tiny little bit of light color through the middle I even twisted it a bit to keep it all together and then needle felt through the middle exactly the same and then trim it and you'll see there's a little spot so that's how you create some really good visual effects depending on what you were doing so that's just with a carded wool super job next we're going to go on to um, a roving or tops type wool and this is the one I use for a lot of my highland cows so it just gives you a different effect a much longer effect or you can do a shorter effect which I'll show you in a minute so if you take the wool again needle felt through the middle make sure it's nice and secure fold it over and then I needle felt once more to make sure it's really secure um, I do a lot of um, attaching wools and furs on uh, my tutorials I've got highland cows and sheep so if you wanted to see the whole thing in process have a look at that but this is a really quick video and this shows you if you, you do another layer going up the body and then you fold that over and that's how you've got your long coated highland cow or you know you might have a long coated dog you could use it for all sorts of animals and you can trim it as well but I'll show you how we uh, trim it in a minute um, the next one is just to show you this has got a mix of colors it's a really lovely beautiful um, wool that I got and if you wanted to do sort of a very unique animal with very special colors I just show you how the effects um, are when it folds over it's so pretty and there it is so it's got lovely lines in it. this is such a soft wool and if you ever need to comb any of this wool out do you remember you just use your needle and if you want the ends to be not so uh, straight then trim upwards and that will give you a jagged edge and this is just sticking up a bit too much if it was on the side of an animal very gentle uh, needle felt and it will stay down and it won't look like you've needle felted so this is a brown just to show you if you wanted to do a teddy bear look or a big grizzly bear look and again it, it looks so lovely it just takes a long long time to do but it's beautiful when it's done so take a strand, needle felt through the middle. This can seem quite wasteful because you cut quite a lot off, but I did reuse the first lot of stuff that I cut off towards the end, so do keep it. There you go, and then you trim it quite close, about a centimetre in length, that is what you leave behind. And there you go, I've done quite a bit. I've done three rows about a centimetre apart. Can you see the rows there? And then once it's all fluffed up, you can't see the base. So that's how you would do a bear or a, a teddy bear or a big grizzly bear. It's really not too difficult. It just takes a long time. 
and that's an actual Herdwick wool that I got and that's how I do my Herdwicks. So the next one I'm going to show you is um, washed locks that you can buy and this is if you wanted to do a sheep or you could use it as hair for a doll. Um, I use it for one of my horses which I show you at the end. So I like to trim the fluffy bits off that aren't that good and that aren't that pretty, attach the end and then I like to fold it over just because I think it keeps the ends all neat and out the way. You don't have to fold it over so you do this in a row and then you do another row up and another row up and that would cover the whole sheet. And then you can just needle felt the locks down a bit if they're sticking out. So there you go. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the reverse needle. If you buy a reverse needle, make sure you keep it separate from your other needles. So with the reverse needle, when you push it in, there's no resistance, but when you pull out, it pulls the hairs out and it goes into the lower layers and it pulls whatever color that is, it will pull it out. So it wasn't showing very well. So I put a white down and then I was pulling the gray through it. So if you want to merge colours, this works quite well, but it gives you a very light, fluffy look if you had, say, a teddy bear that was trying to look a bit antiqued or something, um, and you can pull out thin hairs. We do go a bit closer in a minute because it is hard to show it, so there we go. Um, quite often I will use it for blending the edge of markings on horses. So here we go again, so I'm pulling all the hairs out, so bear in mind it's, if you had a, a lower layer that was say a purple, it could bring some purple through, so make sure you've got the right colours. And then if you didn't, if you're just merging and you just, you didn't want it to be fluffy, you pull it all out and then you just needle felt it flatter. So the reverse needle is really, really good, it's really useful, it's a good one just to have in your kit box. So there we go, that's several types, These, there's the fluffy bits it's pulled out, so it's the teddy bear, the locks and the other two and then how to do the special patterns and you know choose which one's best for you. So things that I've done with it, this is my curly Shetland, he's a little bit mad, one of the first horses I ever did and like I said you could do dolls as well. Long-haired dogs, you could really get into dogs, they're so fantastic, there's so many different breeds, it's amazing what you can do with the wool. This is um, a Highland cow, that took a long time actually. And then this is the uh, more simpler one because it's a lot longer, straighter locks, and I just, I did it grey because I thought it looked nice. And then this is a sheep that I've done with the wool, and then I just twisted it down a bit and made it a bit neater, so it came out quite well. I hope you've enjoyed it, it was a brief, quick, video on how to attach fur subscribe like comment if you enjoyed it and see you again soon i've got many more videos to come and happy felting everybody take care